Hey Divas, welcome back to my channel, The Beauty Mane, and today's look was created using the new Wet n Wild Fall Collection 2013 Eyeshadow in Camera Obscura. It is a nice brown, peach and blues, perfect for fall. And you know, that's this one, this is the one that I used to create this look that I have going here. I also have another one, Silent Era Film very pretty colors i'll do a tutorial on this one soon as well they have a third one which is new to the fall collection and it's a whole bunch of blues i really didn't care for it too much it didn't talk to me as much as these two did but anyway if you want to see how i got this fall look using the wet n wild fall collection 2013 please do yourself a favor and continue to watch so we take the NYC palette in Ultimate Look and we're going to use the brown color in there which I've been using a lot lately as you can see. And we are going to use a large piece brush and diffuse this color all throughout the loop. We're going to take the Wet n Wild Fall Collection Palette in Camera Obscura and we are going to use the dark, well not the dark brown, the brown color in the palette and we are going to apply that right on top of the NYC color that we just applied. We're going to go back into the NYC palette. And we're going to go back to that same brown and we're going to blend out the two browns that we just put on the brown from the Wet n Wild and this brown. And we're going to blend these out because we don't want any harsh lines, as you should know by now. And if you don't know, now you know. No harsh lines. Next, we're going to take a jumbo white pencil and we're going to apply this on our lid as a base to give something for the next color that we're going to put on the lid, give it something to stick to, and also to help make the color pop. We're going to use our finger and we're going to blend that out. Next, we're going to go back into the camera obscura palette i hope i'm pronouncing it right camera ups yeah camera up camera obscura and we're going to go to this pretty peach color here in the middle and we're going to replace that on the lid right on top of that jumbo pencil see how it makes the color a little bit more vibrant medium crease brush and we're going to use this pretty 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 dark blue here and we're going to apply it directly into the lid to kind of smoke out the look. to take the same brush that we used to um, apply this brown color and we're going to basically once again blend out this blue into the brown because we don't want any harsh lines. We are going to smoke out the look and deepen the look a little bit more. We're going to go right back to the blue and we're going to apply it to the outer V of the eye. The outer V is right here, this outer corner in the shape of a V. Let's 
of course you lose color with all that blending so we'll go back into the pretty peach color and we're just going to reapply that to the lid take a small angled eyeshadow brush and go back into the ultimate look palette and this time I'm going to use the lightest color I'm going to apply that right here to the brow bone and just apply one coat because I'm walking lashes today so and if you're not wearing lashes just apply generous coats of mascara like OD 